in today's video, I'm going to Walmart to find the new holiday mystery box. Hopefully. What's up guys, I'm at Walmart searching for the new holiday mystery box, which, you know, every year they come out with one. We'll see if this year's is better than last year's. Honestly, can't even remember what was in last year's, but I'm at the Walmart where last time we had to go to like three Walmarts. I'm starting at the third Walmart because last time it was clutch. So hopefully there's one here and I don't have to go anywhere else. Happy Thanksgiving, I'm not a Christian. This Walmart coming in clutch again. Time to wait in line. 30 bucks though, dang. How are you guys? I'm good. Yeah, she said I can hop forever because I just need to grab three of those over there. I just need three of those mystery boxes right there. Uh, the, yep, the white ones. All right, guys, we're back from Walmart. We got three of the holiday mystery boxes. We're gonna check them out today and see are they any good? And we also have a giveaway of one of these mystery boxes. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think about these? How do they compare to previous mystery boxes from Walmart? Let's get into it. All right, guys, if you guys want a chance to win, don't forget to enter that giveaway, but I'm gonna be opening two of these in this video. They were $30 each, which is not cheap, plus tax and everything. We're just gonna do a standard 30 bucks, try to make our money back on both of these, so 60 total. My voice is still not totally there, because you guys, you know, if you're at the stream on Friday, on Saturday, I've been working through a voice thing, but but guess what? The show must go on, okay? We've gotta keep opening stuff, especially when there's new mystery power boxes out. Look at these suckers. These are some thick mystery boxes, huh? You know, we got some thickness with these suckers. So inside, let's just take a look. We have four booster packs, one mystery pack, one structure deck, and one 50 count sleeve. So honestly, I'm not seeing a lot here. Like, I, I people were telling me about these. I kind of have a little preview of what might be inside, and I'm not feeling great about these. With only, I guess you do get a structure deck, so that's going to be like a $10 value in theory. Then the sleeves are going to be like 15 So I guess there's that. We'll see. We'll see. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reserve my judgment. It is weird how they made them more square now. I kind of like it, and I kind of don't. It's a little bit easier to store, but also not as easy. I don't know. Sorry, I sound like a uh, <laughs> sorry, I sound like, I don't know what I sound like, but sorry, I sound like this, but get used to it. No, don't get used to it. Hopefully it'll be better soon. <laughs> don't get used to it. Hopefully it'll be, except that you're going to have to watch all the uh, videos from the big 11 box opening. And I'm going to sound like this the whole time because, you know, we recorded them all at once, <laughs> obviously during the stream. Okay, let's get this thing open. Uh, let me move this one. These are actually like, the problem is they're huge and they're hard to like show. Oh, obviously we need to check out the back first. What am I talking about? So um, let me just get a little bit better angle. So starter deck Kyber Reloaded is cool because it has the ultimate rear in it. Uh, IOC's in there, Blazing Vortex, Movie Pack's pretty cool, Power of the Elements, if it's unlimited, that would suck. We have Rising Rampage first, that would be pretty sweet. IP Mask Arena Sleeves, those will definitely go for something. Structure Deck, Cyber Strike. Problem is I have so many of all these decks, except for I don't actually have a lot of reload anymore. I did sell some of those, so that's maybe what I want. Okay, holiday mystery box time, let's go. Speaking of holidays, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I really probably should have done this on Thanksgiving, but you know what? It's gotta be out, we gotta, we gotta do it. Okay, let's start with the Structure Deck. Oh, oh, wait, is this the new one? This is the new one, right? Yeah, this is the new Dark World structure deck. I never actually got any of these, so that's kind of cool. Oh, reloaded. So is this like a, is this like a redo? There's, there's kids screaming outside, probably because they're like, ah, oh, the mystery boxes. Ah, oh, not again. Okay, reloaded. So that means it's probably like a reprint. I don't really know about that one because I never had it. Okay, let's go to the next thing. This looks like a blister, maybe. Okay, we have a Dimension Force First Edition. So I guess we'll just add the value of this, whatever that is. We're not gonna open a structure deck. I, I said that one time, people were like, well, well, of course you should open it. I wanna see what's inside. I'm like, well, there's not like a lot of suspense. Like if you wanna see what's inside, there it is. You know what I mean? So that's why we don't usually open the structure decks. Uh, for the booster packs though, you know, you know, they're what might be inside, but you don't know for sure. So Dimension Force, I never pulled the Starlight Ghost Bell out of here. I will say that. So let's see if we can do that here. To be fair, like the way you should do a mystery box is you should add the value before you open the packs. I mean, to see like if you got your value, because if you base it on what you pull, you're never ever gonna make your money back like 0.1% of the time. Okay, let's see, we have one. I kinda want those Miracle Fusion sleeves again. I, I remember we got those in another mystery product. We have Scareclaw, let's see what we can pull. Dogmatic Aturgy, we have Morningstar. Ancient Warrior Savage Don Ying. War Rock Medium, Vivid Tail. Symphonic Warrior DJJ. Therion stand up, and it's not a starlight. It is a super rare Yakuza, Lord of the Eight Thunders, super rare. So far, not that exciting. Let's see what else we can pull. Anything cool, what is this? This is, oh, speaking of exciting, 
25th anniversary. So they've officially started. They've moved on from 2017. We're going to be getting 25th anniversaries, which I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a little sad. Like these are still awesome, but like the old style cards and everything, I'm going to miss getting those out of mystery boxes. So you're going to have to grab older mystery boxes if you want those. So that's why like I think that 25th anniversary is going to age really well, just like 2017 did. Um, they ended up being like $20 a blister for an LOB, $30 even. I think these are going to do just fine because they're going to be in all kinds of mystery products and they're going to be open it, open it, open. And eventually in a few years, these are going to be hard to get and they're going to be, you know, another $10 pack, $15 pack. So I think that if you're going to invest in like Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, which I know some people, you know, don't talk about investing in Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever. If you're going to like buy something and hope that it stays valuable or goes up, those 25th anniversary boxes I think are going to do well. Drooling Lizard, but obviously not financial advice. So don't don't spend your money like that. But that's just a product that I really like. Power of Kaishin with Yami. Terror of the Terrible. It just has a track record over the years of LOB. You know, people love to open it. It doesn't matter if there's any, because like the cards in here are not worth that much, but it's just the value, not the value, but the value of the opening experience is what keeps it nice. Silver Fang, we have Arm Ninja. And a Sword of Revealing Light. Look at that. It never gets old pulling a Swords of Revealing Light. It's beautiful. That's a nice card. Okay. We'll take that. Okay, so that was probably our best pack, to be honest. Let's see. Oh, here's our sleeves. Oh, we got the Miracle Fusion. I really like these. I think they're sweet. I don't know if they're actually good sleeves, though. You know what? Let's find out. I'm going to open them up. Are these good sleeves? We're going to count this as like five bucks or whatever, but I am going to open them up and see how... Are, I, I never actually opened any of the other ones I got, so let's see if these are nice. Would I actually use a deck for these? Let's see. Let's leave this up. They feel pretty good, actually. They don't feel bad. All right, that's pretty nice. Okay, I do like those sleeves, actually. There's some sleeves you'll get sometimes, and they're complete garbage, and those feel a lot better than those. So uh, let's see what the next pack is. It is a Dark Saviors, a classic mystery box pack. First edition Dark Saviors. Cool. Uh, a couple Sky Striker cards in here we probably want. We have Vampire Grimson, not Crimson. Spell Power Grasp. Vampire Red Baron. Drowning Mirror Force Super, and oh, I get this guy every time. He's the cover card, so I should be excited, but it's not a good cover card. Okay, what do we have left? Maybe two more packs. Okay, we have a Cybernetic Horizon Unlimited. That's pretty bad. That's the worst pack we've gotten yet. Not only is it not first dead, it's Cybernetic Horizon, which is just, yeah, not a good pack. Let's get the Boral Sword. Okay, let's do it. We have Crusadia, Divine Serpent, Cybernetic Overflow, Universal Adapter, Zero Extra Link, Goki Ring Trainer, Dealer's Choice, Noble Knight, Pelinor, and then a Renewal of the World. Okay, yeah, not a very exciting set right now. It's from the dead zone of Yu-Gi-Oh. You guys know, 2016 to mid-2019. One more pack. Genesis Impact, I have not seen that in a while. Okay, not a great collector rare set. It's also a collector rare set, so therefore kind of bad. But we can get collector rare, so we at least get something high rarity potentially, unlike in those 2016 to early 2019 sets. I don't know if there's a pack trick, so I'm just going to do this. Like Nightmare Griffin, I think is collector rare. That'd be cool. Perform Mage Hat Tricker, Evil Twin Challenge. We have Drytron Eclipse, Nightmare Unicorn. Let's get us something. We got Backup Secretary. Come on, baby. Let's go, Mystery Box. Uh, Tris Majestus. Okay. First impression of that first box, not horrible. We got a 25th anniversary pack. We get a structure deck. We get a pack of sleeves. The other packs, not great, but let's see if there's any variants in the second box. Usually what happens with these though, is they all have the same packs. Like if you get them at the same Walmarts or whatever, which I did, obviously you guys saw it. Usually you get like the same packs. Like there's not a whole lot of variants. So I'm hoping they change that up because I don't really want a lot of the packs we just got. Uh, if we get Cybernetic Horizon, that's like, that's a super bummer. That's like, is it as bad as like Code of the Duelist? Probably not, but it, it's pretty bad. Next one, I'm not going to spoil. Let's get start off with the structure deck. Looks like it's not Dark World. Oh, we got the classic Saga of the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which I think has been reprinted like four times or something. Like it's, a, I mean, obviously it's Blue Eyes, so it's going to be popular. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, this is probably a fun deck just to like play because, you know, it's Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's not that complicated. There's a few like powerful guys you can get on the field, you know, that got a big attack. Pretty simple and straightforward for like returning to Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever. So I'm not going to lie. If I was returning, I'd be happy to get that structure deck. That's why they keep reprinting it because people are excited about it. We have a, let's, okay, the blister is the mystery pack, I think. Let's go for the sleeves. Where are the sleeves? Okay, this is the sleeves. We have, ooh, the IP. So we got a nice, okay, these are dirty. I, the outside package is really dirty. We have both the IP and the Mi Miracle Fusion. Those are the two options I saw in the box. I don't know if there's more than that, but they're definitely both good options. So I feel good about getting those. Those could even be more than five bucks off the check. Okay, next let's do, we're gonna save that mystery pack for last. Let's do this pack. 
another lob pack i don't know if it's always going to be lob or not but maybe we got lucky lob is cool 25th anniversary obviously we like that let's try to pull that blue eyes white dragon we have the mountain violet crystal armor starfish king fog remove trap our mail silver bow and arrow dragon capture jar and Ooh, an ultra rare monster reborn so two lob packs two awesome spell cards or magic cards back in the day spell on this one because it's the reprint but very cool i mean that's a nice that's a nice pull also if you guys are enjoying these mystery boxes uh we may or may not have some more ruxin and sassy auto mystery packs coming out in just a couple of days so keep an eye out for a video if you're excited about that we have some coming up that you guys might like let's see we have four more packs here we have blazing vortex so first edition this set's really bad but it does have pot of prosperity which has a lot of reprints now you could still get the starlight which is still like a two three hundred dollar card even though it used to be 600 but still a nice card if we could pull it i never pulled it before in either i don't think i no i did pull it in secret a couple times i never pulled the starlight Metaphors fusion we have spring and blast linear equation cannon pendulum encore we have heavy metaphors amalgam giga thunder guy clops guitar grandos doing dunagus i don't know Springins and ooh, an ultra rare arm dragon thunder level seven. So while it's not a very expensive card, I am actually hitting some foils out of these packs, which is pretty nice because that is not guaranteed. Supers are guaranteed, ultras are not. All right, we have we're doing pretty good today, actually, in terms of like pulls, not in terms of actual value. Okay, Flames of Eternity. Okay, unlimited. Why can't they give us first ads of these? It's always unlimited. Still have never pulled Imperm or Ghost Bell. I'm going to say that every time until we finally pull one. Maybe today's the day. Let's find out. Yajuro Invader. Revendred Evolution. This was in, of course, the Dead Zone. I think it was 2018 when this came out. Goki Bear Hug. Maim Makai. Maki Maimaki. We have Element Saber Malo. Restoration of the Monarchs. Goki the Master Ogre. So that is our super rare. Yeah, I need to do the weird pack trick there. Just a super world legacy struggle and trans familiar. So Imperm and Ghost Bell live to fight another day. Two packs left, one mystery pack and a dark savior. So we did have a little variance there. We got, uh, so we got the, uh, what is it called again? Flames of Eternity and Blazing Vortex. So two different packs than we got last time. This time we have Vampire Familiar. We have a Recon, Scout for Hire. I love those fur hires. We have Drowning Mirror Force. Fandor the Flying Fortress and Sky Striker Mecha Shark Cannon. That's actually a decent pull. I don't know if it's crazy money or anything, but it probably is over a dollar. I'm not totally sure. If I had to guess, I'd say three bucks. We'll see if I'm right. Final pack, mystery pack. Let's turn it around. Okay, we got spoilers on the back. Maybe that maybe that tells you what it is. Oh, that looks like Darkwing Black. No, wait, no, no, no. Legatus. What was this in again? This is in a set. It's like a, a year. Oh, oh, Pendulum Evolution. It's like a year and a half old. Oh, it's a mentioned force again. Oh, interesting. So two of the same mystery pack, unless these aren't the mystery pack. Maybe the LOB is the mystery pack. Either way, we got them the same both times. As I said, very consistent in the same Walmarts. You get a lot of the same packs. Dimension Force, not the most exciting set, but it's also not the worst because it does have Starlights in it. We have a branded loss. I don't know how many of them were reprinted in the 25th anniversaries though. We have Algol, Mazera, Exclusion, Yamatako, Orochi, Parasomnia Pillow, whoa! Master Duel Masochist, Simo reference. We have Mad Mauler, Creepy Clown. We have Reverse Jar, I take it back. If Parasomnia Pillow's in there, it's a good set. Uh, we have the Scareclaw Alternative and the last card from the Mystery Box. If you guys have enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe and keep an eye out for our Mystery Packs coming out soon. We have a second wave of round two and let's see what we think about these Mystery Boxes. The Romancer Bonded. Okay, so overall, very similar to previous mystery boxes. You're getting like kind of a variety that's not that variable. You know what I'm saying? There's a few, there's a variety of packs, but you kind of get the same packs most of the time. They're not bad because you do get at least a structure deck. You get a pair of packs. You get at least a 25th anniversary pack. The other packs are pretty bad. They're not great. I mean, there's not really anything older besides that one LOB pack, which is what I really get excited about when there's potential for like Duelist Alliance or something like that. This time it's like kind of 2018, but that's not really a good old pack because no starlights and everything. So overall, these are okay. Like I'd give them like a five out of 10, you know, pretty average for a Walmart mystery box compared to other Walmart mystery boxes. They've been better. But also, they're still pretty fun to open. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Guan 62, Yu Gi Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.